The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that sway. Next offering misses down and away. The wind of the pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. Got him. Simeon down on strikes. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. And takes low for ball one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. One and two here. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Next pitch is outside, and it's three and two. And he walked him. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Run around at first with one Nathaniel. gone. Nathaniel Lowe oh. up to hit. And there's the strike. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Strike two. Oh, yeah. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. In the air, left side. Badu coming in on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Batting four. The left fielder, Adolis Garcia. Now the left fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. On the ground. And foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Out front, rip foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Rangers leave one. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Comerica Park. Today's starting pitcher, Cody Bradford. What do we have on him? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Zach McKinstry, the next to hit, takes ball one. And the 1 0. And he takes a strike. 1 and 1.
Swing and a miss. One ball, That's strike two. two strike. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. This to third. Young. One up, one down. Batting second. The center fielder. Riley. Here's Riley Green. Green. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a ball. One down, base is empty. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. To the right side. And that one handled. Whips it to first. Oh. Fine play in the hole for the out. The shortstop, Javier Baez. The batter now, Javier Baez. Javier Baez, who hails from Puerto Rico. He was the ninth overall pick in 2011 by the Cubs. And what a fun player to watch. Won the World Series in 2016. He was the NLCS MVP. And, of course, on the cover of MLB The Show in 2020. Yeah, nearly won the MVP in 2018 when he finished runner-up to Christian Yelich, and it's about the only thing he hasn't been able to do. The 1-1. And that's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Baez tries to hold up, appeal to first, and yes, he offered at it. Through an inning, no score here on the show. Back here in Detroit, all set for the, for the start of the inning. Here's the Josh Young. Season, number six, Josh Young. And a pitch. And that one is inside. Good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that back side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. The one two. And down on strikes. One out in the second. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. There's a strike. To the right side. Throw on to Torkelson. And a couple of quick outs. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Travis Jankowski. Next is the designated hitter. Travis Jankowski. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed. But he can absolutely move. And it is a factor in his game. First pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. Guys hey. like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Nothing doing for the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Bottom of the Leading second. Up. Now Welcome here's the Tigers, Tigers cleanup hitter, the Spencer baseman. Torkelson. Spencer Torkelson. The pitch. 
The Tigers selected Spencer Torkelson number one overall in 2020 at Arizona State and he rocketed through their farm system made it to triple-a in his first pro season and then eventually made his big league debut the following year yeah Torkelson became the fourth Arizona State baseball player be drafted number one over oh this one high and deep way back there to the warning track makes the catch Not the third baseman. Nick. now the third baseman Maton. Nick Maton Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a one-out double for the first hit of the game. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Man at second with one away. And stepping in is the speedy Akil Badu. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. That's and that's down and away. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Tosses to first. Two gone now. Batting seven. The catcher. Here's the catcher, Eric Haas. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Going one. Going one. Bounce to the right side. Simeon, toss over to first. That's the inning. One left for Detroit. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and here's the veteran outfielder, Robbie Grossman. Robbie Grossman. And here it comes. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Check swing went around, and it's 0 2. Ball one there. Next pitch is inside, and the count's even at two. And now the lefty. And that's outside. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. 
Top of the third, no score. That one just misses. Now one and two. It's a good take. Next pitch is outside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Simeon a takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next offering is in for a strike. Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he hit 45 home runs. And a foul ball. One of the other aspects of Marcus Simeon, when he first came up with Oakland, he really struggled defensively, and he worked so hard. Ron Washington, a guy that helped him out, he ultimately ended up earning a gold glove. Yeah, Ron Washington has helped out so many infielders over the years. He's even willing to work with guys in the opposing teams. We saw him in the All-Star game working with NL East rival Pete Alonso. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And that means Corey Seager will have a chance to hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Runner on the go. Strike in there. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. Runner at second, two down. That clips the zone, and that is strike two. No ball, two strikes. The 0-2. Oh, and boy. ball one. One ball, two strikes. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him swinging. Picks up strikeout number seven. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch. Did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Matt Veerling. The right fielder, Matt Veerling. The pitch. And misses inside. That clips the corner. And that's in for a strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. The one-two. Got him swinging. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when... But two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now it's Zach Short. That's a ball. Ball one, no strikes. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. And that one ripped into right. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. 
the batter, number six. Back to the top of the Detroit third. order. Zach. Now, Zach McKinstry. McKinstry. First time up, he grounded to third. McKinstry hitting leadoff in today's game. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. In there for strike one. A little bit of a day off for him. Instead of being at the hot corner, he can just kind of put the batting gloves on, hold the bat as he sits on the bench, waiting for his time to hit. This one in the air right field. Grossman makes the play, and that is the third out of the inning. Tigers are shut down there. Still no score. Out of the fourth, and now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. And a pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Torkelson takes it to the bag, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Nope. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. That catches the corner. Popped up right side. Short pulls it down, and there's two gone. The third baseman, number six, Josh. Next to hit, Josh Young struck out swinging his first time. Good eye right there. Counts one and oh. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. And he deals. And fouled off. The one two back up the oh that got him throw on to Torkelson out number three and the Rangers set down in order and we're still knotted at zero Back at Comerica Park, ready to go, ready to go. Well, bottom four. Now the here is Riley Green. Riley Green. The wind of the pitch. Liner snagged it first. Now batting, shortstop, Javier Baez. Now it's Javier Baez. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Snags it on the run. And that quickly, two away. The batter, the first baseman, Spencer. And next to hit for Detroit, Torkelson. Spencer Torkelson. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, right now, this battery is seeing the aggressiveness of the hitters early in the count and often. Whoa. So, got to be real careful that you one don't out. give too good of a pitch, especially early in the count. Two outs. In there at the knees. And it's one and two. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Well, that's off the plate. Two 
just misses with that one. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth in that at-bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Maton in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Oh and two now. Ball. Well, that's kind of what you expect One in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Kicks and fires. Just ball, misses two. the mark outside the zone. Great job of two laying strikes. off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim. And the pitch. Uh. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Well, these Rangers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run nope. yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. The next pitch misses, full count now. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string of the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Jankowski in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. In the air to left center. Brings it in. Two away down. Now batting. Right fielder. Robbie. Now it's Robbie Grossman. And the first pitch oh, misses no for ball one. Ground ball, Torkelson. He takes it on oh. his own. That's the third out. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a speed threat. Akil Badu. The pitch. That misses. And that is ball one. And another ball. The next offering misses, and it's 3 0. There's a strike. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Soft contact in the air, hauls it in for the out. And he looked a little tentative on that swing, almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Haas batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Off the plate inside. One ball, one strike. Here comes a pitch. Two, one. That one's in there. Two and two. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Stepping in, Matt Veerling. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one pushed foul. The 0 1. Now 1 and 1. And that's oh, outside. That's Next oh, pitch good. is downstairs. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. That one ripped left field. It bangs off the wall. Garcia quickly throws it in. Runner holds it second, so another base hit could get us the first run of the game. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And here is Zach Short. First offering misses the mark. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. And a curve drops in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And one and two. Full there by the changeup. And in a hole right here. He's got to try to shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Deerland at second with two down. Oh. 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. One hit, one left. Five innings complete. And we still have no score. Here's Leody Tavares. His splits between April and May there. Leody Tavares. Rodriguez back to work. Yeah. In there at the knees. That's strike one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot Whoa, of guys yeah. out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Ah, that hit him. Perfect. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, that's a good start to the inning for this offense. They the instantly get a base runner, and he can absolutely fly, Boog. I think he's a little faster than you. He might be at second real soon. Step off throw to first. Tavares gets back easily. Just could not get in sync and even guess right. When you talk about guessing in the game, it's really anticipation. And sort of going with what the highest probability pitch, velocity, location, at that point of the at bat is and now the lefty That's and the there's ball. a ball I got a ball one strike that there's one misses one and it's two and one Swing and a miss as he was out front. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Rodriguez keeping him close. Two two now. Simeon waits on the ground. Could be two to second. There's one, and that's two. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Seeger stands in now. Strike one. On one. Here's your one. Swing and a foul straight back. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Deerland going back on this one. Makes the catch up against the wall. Back here in Detroit. Well, we go bottom six. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Zach McKinstry. The why to kick the pitch. Yeah, that's too high. Outside. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. There's the strike. Two balls, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure he was trying Better to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Now the number two hitter, Riley Green. Two 
check ball. swing, and that's a ball. Now fly ball to right center. Tavares running hard to get it. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. So one gone with a runner at third. Javier Baez now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. That one missed. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch inside. And a count two and one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Next one misses three and one now. Spencer Torkelson in the on deck circle. And there's a foul ball. And a three two. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the off to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Two on, one out. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Pulls that one foul. Green, the runner at third. Baez over at first with one away. And he takes one right on the black. And it's nothing in two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. Check swing, appeal to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Nick Maton up now for the Tigers. Eight. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. A dive. He's got it. It's there. And that's a great play. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Top of inning number seven. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate 
They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And a pitch. That's in for a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The batter, the left field. Next to bat, the Adoles. Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Garcia. In there, and it's 0-1. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. Just a weak fly ball this time. Short makes the grab for the second out. The third baseman, number six, Josh Young. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. He gets the intention to walk here and now will force at any base with two gone. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Jankowski in the box now. Takes strike one. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Tyler Alexander, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Holton getting cranked up as well. Two on, two outs. And there's a hit. Heading for the plate. The throw home. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Robbie Grossman. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Time on second. Jankowski at first. Two out of the inning. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Lined into right. Beerland pulls that one down. And that ends the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. Set for the last half of the seventh at the play. Akil Badu. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. There's a strike. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. 
Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. Movement in the bullpen. Cole Reagans, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Spores, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Now a check swing, but he held up. The tying run at the plate. Ripped into center, base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Eric Cox up now for the Tigers. That one's in there on one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Runner at first with no outs here. Next pitch inside. Ball one. Now snap throw to first. Badu back in on a dive. Another move to first. And he's back in that time as well. Again to first. And once again, he's back in safely. Here's a 1-1. That smash towards center. Tavares makes the play, and there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all no, over right. it, but sometimes right. you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. And yeah, ball one to the right fielder. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. That misses. Two and oh. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Zach Short up next. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Yeah. Pumps in a strike, and now three and one the count. And there's the strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. to third and it finds its way through for a hit they get it in quickly so first and second now one out always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through it's just bigger than your own individual stats just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield he just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings manager out of the dugout and he's going to make a change Cody Bradford will depart and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base back with a new pitcher after this taking over on the mound for the Rangers John King well the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game some of them are just wired different so we'll see what he's got here And next up for the Tigers, Zach Short. Yeah. 
lifted in the air right center field Tavares settles under it makes the grab out number two well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in and next is the designated hitter Zach McKinstry these fans they are ready to cheer about something and he swings and misses at the initial offering the pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track and he'll two and just misses with that one man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets and here it comes and he dodges that fastball definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open Two two now. Riley Green waiting to hit for Detroit. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Tigers strand a pair. They're down one nothing. Welcome back and a new arm of the mound to start the eighth. Tyler Alexander. Just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game digging in. Laoti Tavares. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The pitch. That one lifted to left. Badu has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. The batter number two. Second baseman. So the lineup flips Marcus. over. Now it's the second Simeon. baseman, Marcus Simeon. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Activity in the bullpen. Jason Foley, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Liner, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So now it's Corey Seager. Nope. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Simeon leads off first with one away. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the one count ball. one and two. two Step off, throw to first. Oh, Simeon back in standing. One run game, one out, one on. Swings here and blasts one left field. Badu going back, back some more, and it's caught just in front of the wall. Now 
And the batter down. Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. At the belt and fires. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. The lefty ready and a 1-1. There's the sinker at the knees for a strike. And a ball evens the count. And delivers outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Oh, he can't squeeze it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. One left for Texas, but they're on top. One nothing. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Josh Spores. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. So digging in, Riley Green. And he deals. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Jose LeClaire getting loose out there. And that's in there at the knees. him swinging it's a strikeout blew the express right by his bat for strike three pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth That's inning so down one any oh, leadoff yeah. base runner really makes this inning oh, yeah. a bit more interesting but now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate now here is Javier Baez Right-handed reliever, and there's a strike. The 0-2. That one is upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Good job to fight that one off. The one two gets a piece and stays alive. Next pitch misses way outside. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And yeah, there's two away. Now batter, first baseman, Spencer. And next will be the Tiger Torkelson. cleanup hitter, Spencer Torkelson. A strikeout and a walk. And a strike in there. Oh, 
Oh, and two as he waves at that one. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. And the right hander deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next pitch is outside. That one the other way. Over to first, and the Tigers retired 1 2 3. Tigers fail to make any noise, and it remains 1 0. Pitching change here, Jason Foley. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Tigers, number 68, Jason Foley. Well, one run game. Now at the plate, Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia. The pitch. That's in there. And that is strike one. Foley, a righty that throws with power. He features a sinker, a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. That one off the mark. And one and one. Tigers bullpen with some action. Jason Shreve up and throwing. The pitch. And another ball. One strike. Play over to first in time. Got him. The third base, number six, Josh Young. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. A little bit low. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, they gave up on that pitch early and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Hey. Goes down looking. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. In for a strike. 0-1. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth. So it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And the righty deals. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the night. It's the Rangers one and the Tigers nothing. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jose Leclerc. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Number 25, Jose Leclerc. Nick Maton digs in now. For the Tigers, the third baseman, Nick And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Oh. 
Next offering is foul back. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. One run game, bottom nine. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The 0 2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Center field. Tavares settles under it. And there's one away. Up next to the Tigers. No left field. And the batter now, Akil Badu. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next one is off the play. One and one. That one missing inside. Next pitch inside. Now three and one. Eric Haas to bat next. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Young trying to get there. He's got it. And there's two away. The catcher, number 13, Aaron. Eric Haas up now for the Tigers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Home team down a run here in the last half of inning number nine. Next one in the dirt. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And now two and one. Kicks and deals. They're down to their final strike. Two two on the way. Out to center. Tavares settles under it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guys standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, one run, four hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Tigers, no runs, five hits, no errors. They left seven men.
welcome. Thanks for joining us. Baseball coming up on this Memorial Day. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And our pitcher tonight, Ken Waldachuk. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Ready to go. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Misses off the plate. And away we go here in Oakland. The wind and the pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is 2-0. 2, and 0. two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Next pitch misses, and it's 3-0. and 0. And there's the strike. The 3 1. Good take plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't Ooh, offer at it. Line. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Matt, Matt Olson, Olson up to the plate. Oh. There's the strike. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. The 0 1. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that skips in the dirt. Outside corner, there's a strike. He swings and fouls one off. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here in the East Bay. And towing the slab in this one, Spencer Strider. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. Digging in for Oakland, number 49. The why to kick the pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Left-hand batter waits. 
They say you win. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. Next one just misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next pitch okay. is outside. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Now it's the DH, Brent Rooker. Ball one, no strikes. Strider picks the first, and he just got his hand in there. Nobody out, runner at first. Next offering is foul back. Righty delivers. That misses off the outside edge. The going, count two and one. Well, Throw to second. One. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one. So that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. No outs. Runner on second. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Wow, just great bite to that, that slider. Hurt. Broke hard out of the zone and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, yeah. that pitch is really hard to take and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So here's Brown at the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And first offering is fouled off. One out and a runner at second. Deal one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Good eye right there. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right hander kicks deals. Hard ground ball base now. Harris fires it to the plate. In there. He scores. And it's 1 0. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. 
And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First That's offering, and it just misses. That one at the knees for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Pickoff throw. Brown dives back in safely. And now it's one and two. That's inside. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Brown at first, one gone. Oh. Next pitch downstairs. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the that dugout. Got a pitch to no, hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. This is J.J. Blade In there and it's 0-1. Left-hand hitter waits. And it's fouled away. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Here comes a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Harris has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Top of the second. Here's Sean Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And now the lefty. Back up the middle and a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Kemp with a relay throw. He's in there. Everything came together for him. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Up the middle, gets to it, and knocks it down. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number eight, Eddie. Here's Eddie Rosario. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That's in there, and that's strike one. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Ball one low. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. The pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Loriano settles under it, squeezes it. Runner tags from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. 
Well, as a former outfielder, I love this play. When you get the opportunity to throw a guy out at the plate, makes the catch as the runner tags and a laser throw to the plate on the money for the double play. It's time to go hit. Welcome back. We head to the, the bottom athletic. of the second. Here's Ramon right Laureano. Laureano. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And it's oh. even up. That one drifts inside. And that is cut on and missed. Two balls, two strikes. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was in Seven. and off Seven. the plate. So the hard to do baseman. anything with the pitch no in that location, but somehow Seven. he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Here's Tony Kemp. First offering is fouled off. Loriano aboard here at first with nobody out. Line drive, base hit right for you. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Nice line a drive, big pull side, met yeah. it out front, but just stayed through it nice yeah. enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now it's Chase Peterson. Swings through that one. Go oh, on. and one. And a pitch. Just oh. missed. Just oh, missed. That's Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And the righty deals. Pitch misses there. And now three balls and a strike. A's leading by a run. And Loriano in scoring position. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Now it's going to be Nick Allen. That one ran inside, almost got him. Righty to the plate. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The one two swing at a ball lifted to center field 
and makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Play it home. He's safe. And they lead by two. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Number 49. Up next for the A's. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That just misses. 1 and 0. Oh. And a good Go. eye there. Good hitters count the 2 0. And that one upstairs. Strider, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Swing and a miss at 100 miles an hour. And a payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly, they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Next is the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. And takes low for ball one. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. A little bit high. Now 2-0. Oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And a pitch. That's hard hit in the line. And Acuna able to make the grab. And the inning is over. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We play two full. It's the A's two and the Braves nothing. And welcome back. Out of the third the inning. Play. Now in for the Braves. Ozzy Albies. Waldachuk back to work. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzie Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a Silver Slugger. And he's won multiple Silver Sluggers now. That pitch in for a strike, and a count one and one. Now fly ball to right center. Loriano trying to get there. And there's one away. Batting it. The shortstop. Orlando Here's Orlando Arcia. Arcia playing up the middle at short, 28 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. In there for strike one. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. Next offering upstairs. Next offering way off the plate. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. Swings and misses. And now two and two.
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two away. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now here is Michael Harris. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. You'll one. And that one is inside ball one. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ball game. Upstairs. That's inside. And the count is three and one. Ronald Acuna Jr. waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs. And that's ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Step off throw to first. Harris back on a dive. Acuna measures six feet even, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Acuna at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. You know, the two-out walk, got to erase that and really go to work on the hitter. You got to go ahead and just let him steal if he's going to. Try to create the swing and miss and get out of this jam. That's in there. And it's one and one. And you wonder, is he in his head a little bit? Even if the base runner doesn't steal right here, what's great is that he is dividing the attention of the pitcher and may serve to give his teammate a better pitch to hit at the plate. The other way, and that's just foul. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> That or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. And now two and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the inning, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Seth Brown. Seth Brown. And the right hander back to work. And oh. the first pitch misses for ball one. one you know, these athletics showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working oh. the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count oh, might set him up to do more damage later in this game. 2-2 two -two now. The punch out there. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Well, big power guy right there and generating now so much it. bat speed. Yes, it's hard to sure. bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Love how he let that ball travel, the trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. JJ Lutte. Man at first with one gone, JJ Bladé. Up next for the A's, he's 0 for 1. High fly ball out into left center field. Rosario puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. 
Now batting, right fielder, Bravo, Laureano. Laureano comes up to hit, singled and scored his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Good eye right there. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. There's a strike. Now two and one. Langoliers off of first with two away. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first. And Laureano is retired. And that is that. The A's strand one. But they're on top two nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Maybe stepping in the, the long ball threat, the Matt Olson. Matt Olson. The pitch. When you think about the best defensive first baseman in the game, Olson is certainly in the conversation. He's won multiple gold gloves over there, and it seems like he picks everything. One of those guys that the infielders love because he makes that third baseman, shortstop, and second baseman even better, saving those errors. The wind to kick the 2 0. This one rip, but foul to the right. Two one now. Swings through that one. Well, you know, this guy wants to pitch up something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall, but you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. Got him swinging. No, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow now, death. With two strikes, you're season. looking to protect, Austin. and halfway to the plate, you Riley. know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Here's Austin Riley. Grounded out his first time. Misses oh, inside, and it's 1-0. just off the outside part of the plate. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Next no. offering misses, and now 3-0. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Peterson settles under it. He's there. He's got it. Two down. Got the pitch that he now wanted. Batting. Just a Catch little it. bit quick. Front Sean. shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. So here's Murphy now. Doubled in his first A.B. And there's the strike. And a swing and a miss there. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Ball one there. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Got it. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order go the Braves. They trail it here 2-0.
back in Oakland and now Tony Kim this is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time and he's pretty good at it Chris yeah and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed because of the ability to put down that bunt swings and misses no balls two strikes now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really is a way oh that got away from him and he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning Boo, you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself maybe high school college no but i almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at old tiger stadium peterson now at the plate as he swings through strike one he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Oh. Next offering is down low. One, ball. One strike. The one two. On the ground, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Nick Allen up next for the A's. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. And a foul ball. Kemp over at second. Peterson on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Back to the top of the lineup, number 49. Up next for the A's. That one's in there, 0-1. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Oh, and two now. Popped up. Albies on the move. Snags it for the second out. Up next for Oakland, the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. Next to hit, Brent Rooker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Oh, and two now, and that one is inside. First and second, two down. Fouls it off, still one and two. And he deals. Oh. Slider misses outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked.
Three two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. A strand a couple but they hold the two nothing lead. Back here in the East Bay, and now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo Zuna. The wine of the pitch. Splits the plate, going one. You know, these Braves just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. They haven't run a single count full in this ball game, and that's just wild to me. That stat alone shows they're making it way too easy to get them out. And a foul ball left side. And a pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Eddie Rosario getting ready to hit. First pitch, oh, okay. just misses. Knock right field. So a man aboard now with one away. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. One gone runner at first. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Ozzie Albies. There's a swing and a drive. Here. Ozzy Albies goes yard. His 11th of the year. It's 2 2. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And now it's going to be Orlando Arcia. That one's in there. That's strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses outside, and the count is one and one. Just oh, missed. Oh. One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Brown moving under it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That now front that shoulder coming open instead of staying Michael closed. If he does Carroll. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Harris no. in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Next pitch is inside, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. And that's outside. Ronald Acuna Jr. on deck for Atlanta. That's in for a strike. Three and one. Oh. 
And there's Thank ball you, four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Acuna's signing bonus wasn't astronomical, only $100,000, but a lot of talent as far as the family. His dad, Ron, was a minor league outfielder, and his grandfather, Romo, was a pitcher in the Houston organization. Back over to first, and they're keeping him close. Yeah, when you just look at that uh, lineage, I mean, for him, coming from Venezuela, you got to imagine that, it, you know, he's going to be a big leaguer with that type of, you know, training and coaching that you've had at home. Acuna in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Now snap throw to first. Harris back easily. And Acuna's two younger brothers, Brian and Luis Angel, are in professional baseball right now playing in the minor leagues. Next offering is in for a strike. Snap throw to first. Harris gets back easily. Kicks and deals. That one hit to right. Loriano settles under it. He's got it. And that will end the inning. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get hey, us started. Brown. Bottom five. No Seth Brown. Seth Brown. The wind of the pitch. He was late there, strike one. one strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Lucas Litke, the left-hander, up and throwing. Righty delivers. And that one wrapped foul. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was the set up for it by something off yeah. speed earlier in the at bat. Just Mind came right there. after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Shea Langoliers. That misses, oh. and that oh, is ball one. There's the strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's a the ball. Next offering misses down and away. And the 3-1. Good Thank plate appearance man. there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted back. him first base Better with a quick free pass. JJ. Next up for the A's, J.J. Bladé. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. A one down. That one fouled off. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch is outside. One ball. Two straight.
at the belt and fires. And that misses off the outside edge. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. That misses the zone. Full count now. Ramon Laureano in the odd deck circle for the A's. Langoliers over at first with one away. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. New pitcher for the Braves, Lucas Litke. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Litke. So up next, Ramon Laureano, one for two. That pitch clips the outside corner. It's 0 1. And here it comes. And that That's one off ball. the outside edge. One ball, one strike. Pitches in the dirt and a count two and one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. The 3 1. That one rip, but foul. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. One left for Oakland. Score remains 2-2. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's a big power threat. Matt Olson. Waldachuk back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Austin Pruitt getting ready to go. Mole, the lefty, warming up as well. And now two and nothing. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. And a 2-2. And downstairs. Bye. Struck him out looking. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Riley in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. And now it's even up. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. 
next offering upstairs. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at bats because of it. 3 1 is on the way. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. Fouled off. He was late. Murphy, 28 years old. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. Now the 0-1. There's a strike. Next offering is downstairs. It's a good take. That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Murphy started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Jerry Hillsdale says he went around. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the sixth inning, and here is Tony Kemp. Here comes a pitch. And oh. ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Nick Anderson appears to be getting loose. Yates warming up as well. Left hand hitter waits. Strike on the inside corner. One ball, one strike. And that's oh, down it away. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Cut on and miss, struck him out. One away, bottom of the sixth. Jace Peterson up next for the A's. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. In the air left field. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in and that's a double. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Allen in the box, lays off for ball one. He's 0 for 1. The 1 0. There's a strike. Oh. 
Litke picks over hey. Peterson back in on a dive. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitter's timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. In the dirt, the count now two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at that, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Next pitch has popped up. Albies puts it away for the out. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So the batting order turns over. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 49. First offering misses the mark. That one is absolutely belted. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. The run comes in from second. It's 3-2. Well, that's a big swing of the bat, driving in the run with the two-bagger. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So, runner at second, two down. And next is the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. Seth Brown up next for the A's. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. A's get one on the RBI double. As the A's are on top, you're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Austin Pruitt gets the ball now. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Well, one run game leading off Marcelo Zuna. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Swings and misses. 0-1. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. The 0-1. Foul ball there. The tying run at the plate. And that's downstairs and outside. Swung on, belted. Loriano on a dead sprint, racing back on the warning track and hauls it in. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie. Yeah, it's a really nice catch right there near the wall, and you have to use everything available to you. Know when your feet leave the grass and hit the warning track. Also, when you're able to, use the bare hand to feel for exactly how close you are. And right there, Perfect use of his instruments. Next to hit, Eddie Rosario. Oh, First right. pitch, and he just misses. Inside, oh, just not. missed. Next offering is fouled back. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Next offering is outside. 
At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. 3-1, oh. and he couldn't come up with it. The batter number one. Runner on at first with one gone. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. He's already homered here in this one. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. On the ground to first. Fires to second for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the A's three and the Braves two. Back in Oakland, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Shea Langoliers. The pitch. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And out number one on the grab. Now that the right field. Bravo. Laureano. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Hey. Curveball over for a called strike. One run game, one out, one on. Going to count one and two. One and two. Ground ball, left side. Fair ball! Lead runner makes the turn at second. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. One away, runners at first and third. Digging in for Oakland, Tony Kemp. And misses inside. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And now the lefty started to go after it. Now a look down to third, and he went around. Rule to swing. One run game. The A's looking for some insurance. And the next pitch is way outside. Two on, one out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. So two down now, and here is Jace Peterson. In there, and it's 0-1.
Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0 and 2. Laser. Base hit. In comes the run from third. And they lead by two. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Nick Anderson taking over on the mound. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. So first and second with two outs. Nick Allen up next for the A's. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Back to back singles. Play at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And they take a three run lead. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage. And he squared it up nicely. And here's the first baseman, number 49. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Well done behind the dish. Next pitch way upstairs. Peterson at second. Allen on at first with two down. And that one fouled off. And that's in for a strike. That one misses, and it's a full count. Brent Rooker next to bat for the A's. Next offering is fouled back. Anderson ready to work. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. Here's Oakland's DH, Brent Rooker. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Way high. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Grabs it right up against the wall. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. Eighth inning coming up. It's the A's five and the Braves two. So a lefty out of the pen, Sam Long. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Number 66. Sam Long. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Richard Lovelady, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Oh, 
In the dirt. Sends it to first. Lead-off man is out here in the eighth. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Michael Harris will hit next. That one's in there. That's strike one. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. Going oh, two now. That one ripped. He's got it, and there's two away. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. Here's Acuna now. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And fouled off. The next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Not even close there, and it's two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. And that's ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in now this batting. one. It's the no second time he's taken ball four. Matt. And now oh, Matt Olson up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. That one in there across the letters. They say it went. And a one two. In the air, right side. Loriano going back. Still going back. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the A's five and the Braves two. Out of the bottom of the eighth, here's the left fielder, Seth the left Brown. Fielder. Brown. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back. And it hits the base of the wall. Brown into second, and he's got a double. Waste no time there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. So, man aboard. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. That's a strike, and it's 0-1. And a strike. 
All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The 0-2. And down on strikes he goes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Lede in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Misses inside. Ball two. Runner leads away at second. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now back. The right fielder. And now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Swing and a miss. Next offering is fouled back. Brown on third with two out. Off the mark there. One and two to count. Now one missed. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The A's strand one. They're still out in front, 5-2. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Richard Lovelady. A chance at his first save of the year. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. The third baseman, Austin Riley. The pitch. There's the strike. Love lady. In his second season, he features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a sinker. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. The pitch. Falling behind two and one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now one away. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. And a foul ball, third base side. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Here comes the 0-1. That one hammered center field. Back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. 
Sean Murphy circles the bases. His 12th of the season, and they inch closer. It's 5-3. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a miss. Strike one. pitch and a big swing and a miss another 0-2 count right here pitcher just in the driver's seat he can go anywhere he wants to go right here way inside gets out of the way and a 1-2 two ball this is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Next offering is foul back. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number two. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Eddie Rosario next up for the Braves. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And a pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two down, nobody on. And now one strike away. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. So when you have a losing streak this long, not just your fans are aware of it, the entire city and everyone around the league as well. To snap this thing and get back in the win column, a huge relief for them to start in the winning ways that they had before and perhaps extend a double-digit winning streak. A 5-3 final score in this one. Oakland hangs on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious athletics. Five runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 13 men on base. For Atlanta, three runs, four hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.